Have a watch. Okay, let me ask you a question. Have you ever driven an AMG? Any AMG? I think the first one I drove was a 1992 E55. There's a thread that runs through all of them. Same personality of muscle. The, this car continues that and just raises the level. It has the twin turbo V8 and the turbos are mounted in the hot V. Really effective engine, very broad torque curve, but still the power climbs with revs or it feels like it. So it's a very satisfying experience. The noises are just so delicious. It's been a steady march forward for AMG in terms of performance, but with the same personality, which I happen to find delightful. Brutally fast acceleration. And that's what the GTR delivers over the GTS. Even more so, it stirs more race and more muscle into the AMG special potion. Yup, AMG's GTR is pretty amazing on the track. One minute, 33.01 seconds is hugely impressive and quicker than most supercars, including the Porsche GT3 RS, the Porsche Turbo S, the Dodge Viper TA, the Corvette Z06, and the Audi R8 V10 Plus. During the competition, there was discussion about how similar the AMG and the Camaro felt, especially how stiff the rear suspension is. Like the Camaro, the AMG is prone to running out of rear suspension travel. Therefore, the GTR is more of a track-focused car and less of a driver-focused one. 